Right, so welcome back to another video on this channel. Now, uh, Fulham are back in the Premier League. A 2-1 playoff victory over Brentford means that they've sealed their promotion back to the Premier League at the first time of asking. Of course, they did get relegated last season, finishing second bottom just above Huddersfield Town. And Jack, going into this playoff final, of course, I think most people were rooting for Brentford. I think most people had their money on Brentford to win this game, purely because of the football they played, the way they played it, the likes of Saeed Ben Rama, of course, Ali Watkins, Brian Mbumo, some brilliant, brilliant players for Brentford that could have got them over the line. But yeah, in the end, Fulham have saved the best till last and have gone through with a 2-1 victory over Brentford in the playoff final courtesy of a double from Joe Bryan the left back and uh, yeah I did do a watch along for this game so those of you who did watch the watch along of course will understand what I'm saying in this video and uh, yeah it was a pretty good watch along we gained quite a few subscribers quite a few new subscribers as well so yeah thank you very much to anyone that tuned in and did subscribe to the channel and yeah overall on the night I think Fulham definitely were the better side and I think they thoroughly deserve to have won that game and earned their place back in the Premier League for most of the game I think Brentford really didn't create anything really I mean the likes of Saeed Ben Rama of course Ollie Watkins and the players that Brent Brentford usually rely on to create moments of magic for them and yeah, none of them really showed up on the night and I think that Fulham created a lot more and even though the difference between the two teams on the night wasn't outstanding I think that Fulham definitely deserved the victory based on the chances they created and overall I think they played very very well and showed a lot of heart. In terms of the futures for both these sides of course that does knock Brentford quite a bit back in their process for the Premier League. I mean they were looking to go up this season of course they go into their new stadium next season which they will be playing now in the championship and uh, yeah it will set them back quite a bit because of course the likes of Ben Rama and Watkins and players that I've mentioned they will not be there at Brentford next season and I think that the likes of Ben Rahman and Watkins will be snapped up by Premier League sides at this stage. And yeah, take nothing away from Fulham. I mean, it was absolutely vital that they won that game because the likes of Mitrovic would have been snapped up by Premier League clubs had they not got promoted. And yeah, this game was massive for Fulham because, of course, they did get relegated after spending like a hundred million pound plus in the Premier League, which means that they were in massive debt from what they spent in the Premier League. Which means that this win is absolutely vital to them because, of course, it does ease the debt a little bit, so they can spend a little bit when they're in the Premier League, and hopefully for them, they can survive next season in the Premier League at the first time of asking. But yeah, overall, very good credit to Scott Parker who in his first ever full season in management has managed to guide Fulham back into the Premier League and yeah I know they probably did have the best squad in the championship in terms of like overall quality but in the end you can't take anything away from Scott Parker because let's be real this Fulham side were absolutely deflated after the results of last season I mean they did finish on like 20 or 30 points or something like that so to pick them up from a complete low last season and win the playoffs with them in the end against a team that are one of the most liked teams in the championships in terms of the football they play and the way they do it yeah you just have to say hats off to Scott Parker and I think he will be the right man to take them forward next season in terms of the standout performers for Fulham I was quite impressed with the defence overall. I think they defended very well. They set up very well to block Brentford's attack. I think the likes of Joe Bryan, of course, who is the match winner. I think the likes of Michael Hector and Tim Ream did very well at centre back as well to null Brentford's attack. In terms of going forward, I think that the former Tottenham reject, of course, Josh Onama, who is in midfield for Fulham, I think he did surprise me very much in the midfield. He did for most of the game look like Fulham's main threat going forward, and I think he deserves a lot of the credit for the way Fulham played. And yeah, in the end, the decision to drop Mitrovic, Cavalero, and knock out, leave them all on the bench for this playoff final did actually manage to turn out quite well for Fulham in the end. It gave them some very good options off the bench. Brentford didn't quite have the options that the, off the bench that Fulham had. But yeah, of course, Joe Bryan completely catching David Raya, the Brentford goalkeeper, off guard with a quick free kick into the bottom corner and a, a monumental error that cost Brentford promotion in the end. Then the second goal, Bryan bombs forward, a brilliant one too with Mitrovic and on his weaker right foot, slots it past Raya and at that stage, Fulham's promotion was confirmed. And of course, Brentford's right back, Henrik Dalsgaard, did manage to pull one back in the fourth minute of injury time, but at that stage, it was too little too late. And uh, in the end, Fulham managed to seal out for the playoff victory. And yeah, of course, Fulham do join Leeds and West Bromwich Albion in being promoted to next season's Premier League. And how they do is anyone's guess. But yeah, I will be doing a video quite soon, like discussing and analysing how I think those three teams will do in the Premier League. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. But yeah, that's where we're going to leave this video, guys. So if you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like on this video. That'd be much appreciated. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're edging so, so close to 200 subscribers. So if we could hit that as soon as possible. I'd be very much appreciated and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.